Hi, I'm Eddie of Eddie's Reef Aquaria. Uh, today's video is going to be an observation that I made on these two corals uh, that I'm going to showcase uh, today in reference to the addition of my trace elements, which four of them, if you follow me, and you notice that I did an ICP test and there was four, especially zinc was undetectable. So upon replenishing those um, trace elements with replenish by Brightwell Aquatics, uh, the two corals that I believe presently, there's others, but these two I thought I'd concentrate on today, uh, show an increased improvement. So I thought I'd make this video about those two corals today that I'm observing. And But before, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and press that notification bell. So let's take a deep dive into it and check it out. Hold on. Okay, the first one I want to draw your attention is the one on the top the uh, Japanese leather. Now, this Japanese leather, I mean, I got it from a little, little frag, and it was, I mean, a quarter of what you see there. And I've noticed that it would shed, and then the polyps would barely come out, shed, barely come out. Matter of fact, it wasn't there. It was in another section towards, I would say, towards the left of where you're looking at now. And I went ahead and I placed it thinking that it was a light issue, but nothing. It kept, you know, uh, not, uh, I mean, the polyps wouldn't come out that much. So when I did the ICP test and I noticed that the four trace elements were down, but especially the zinc, that's when I started to add trace elements. And now, look at it now. It's, uh, I mean, it's actually more happier. It's more vibrant. And the polyps are extended extremely elongated much more than before so that i believe is an issue of of course of replenishing uh and bringing up the levels of the four trace elements that were extremely low or non-traceable like sink and of course i just moved the camera just a a little down to get the focal point on the monte cap now People that follow me uh, on previous videos, I've said, you know, these are one of the Monte Cap is one of the corals that I dearly love. And yet I would have an issue keeping them. I would get them and after about a week, they would start to pale and pale out and I would lose it. Again, I know I sound like a parrot, but I thought I mentioned once I did the ICP test, those four trace elements, one untraceable. Uh, I went ahead, I started to add, uh, to replenish the trace elements and look at it. I mean, I, I got this coral, the Monte Cap, I got it on um, Black Friday. It's been quite a few weeks. It's not uh, so far crossing my fingers. It hasn't uh, paled. It's, it looks the same as when I got it. And not only that, I don't know if you can see it barely but right here if you look closely there is a sign of growth because these corals really grow very very quick so i thought i'd show you that also uh, that's another sign that i must be doing the right things now and that the uh, actual uh, values are, are higher because it's still there uh, i do uh, hit it with the uh, the turkey baser because the other day I noticed that the color was a little different and it was that it had gotten a little algae. Although I placed it here and these corals in nature, uh, the Monte Caps in nature, they actually look out at a drop off or the uh, cliff in open water and they open up. So I believe that although I brought up the uh, speed on the MP10, I have it now at uh, 35% but apparently it's not hitting it precisely. So what I do is like every day or every other day, I look at it and with a turkey baser, I just blast it, um, you know, some water and to flush it just in case of, if there's any debris or something on it. So that's the other coral that I thought I'd show you guys. Well, that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video, found it educational, fun and interesting. If you liked it, hit the thumbs up, of course, and subscribe to my channel and smash that notification bell. And like I say at the end of all of my videos, happy reefing, 
Thanks for watching, and until next time, bye-bye.